Five people were killed and nine others got injured in Ukrainian drone and artillery strike on a hotel in Russian-held eastern Donetsk region. The strikes were delivered with the use of HIMARS multiple rocket launcher system. Along with the hotel building, cars nearby were also targeted by missile attacks. According to the reports in Ukrainian media, the participants of the motorcade gathered in front of that hotel on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the formation of the so-called Donetsk People's Republic. Earlier, Denis Pushilin, the Russian-installed head of Donetsk region, said in a statement posted on the Telegram messaging app that three people were killed and eight more injured as a Ukrainian missile struck a restaurant in Donetsk city. Meanwhile, four people were killed in an attack on an oil base in eastern Luhansk region with the use of Atoms. Located in Ukraine's industrial Donbass region, Donetsk came under the control of Russian-backed separatists in 2014 and regularly came under Ukrainian shelling after Moscow's full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. The region became more secure after Kiev's troops were forced from its outskirts earlier this year. Она ранила. Ломает, да? Угу. Вот на улице нас накирала и горит. Ой, блядь, это там стреля. Ой, ой, надо взводить отсюда. India arrests people recruiting mercenaries for Russian army in war against Ukraine. Indian authorities have arrested four individuals involved in recruiting mercenaries to send them to war against Ukraine, according to Reuters. The arrested individuals who worked as translators assisted prospective mercenaries in obtaining visas and booking airline tickets. Law enforcement assures that investigations are ongoing regarding other accused individuals who are part of an international human trafficking network. In March, it was reported that approximately 35 Indian citizens were deceived into traveling to Russia for participation in the conflict against Ukraine. According to Reuters, the families of two deceased Indian citizens who fought on the side of Russia claimed that their husbands intended to work in the Russian army as assistants. The Indian Ministry of External Affairs stated that each case has been actively discussed with Russia. Russia is actively recruiting individuals for the war against Ukraine, but it faces a shortage of manpower, hence resorting to hiring mercenaries from various countries, offering them money and citizenship. In February, India appealed to Russia for the early release of some of its citizens who were working in the Russian army in auxiliary positions. In March, Al Jazeera reported that the Russian Federation had recruited citizens of Sri Lanka for the war against Ukraine, with some already being casualties. Russia promised citizens of Sri Lanka that they would be involved in bunker duty. However, the Ukrainian military managed to hit the bunker where the mercenaries were stationed. At present, hundreds of citizens of Sri Lanka are fighting on the side of Russia against Ukraine. Most of them joined the war for a salary of $3,000 and the prospect of obtaining Russian citizenship. It has also been established that some of the mercenaries have already been killed. Recently, Ukraine's main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense reported that mercenaries from Nepal, who arrived to fight against Ukraine within the ranks of the Russian army, are deserting en masse.